Enough Premier League uh, in honor of the Bundesliga. We're oh, going to take a look at the top yes. teams uh, for a lot more in this. Obviously, our friends Derek Ray and Archie Wintut, a.k.a. A.R.T., uh, they've got you covered all season long. But inevitably, the question is always, you know, who can knock off Bayern mm. after they won their 29th title in a row? It's not actually that, but it no, feels it's it. No, it's um, Let's start with Bayern. I don't want to spend too much time on it because we're going to talk, we talk about Bayern every week. Yeah. But obviously, the big takeaway, Lewandowski gone, Mane in, um, up front. And then obviously, at the back, a big move for Matthijs De Ligt. Yeah. Gravenberch in midfield, Mazraoui. This is a revolution. This is and impressive. I, a couple of years ago, I remember <laughs> I, I said, like, this team's going to need major surgery in a couple of years, simply because of the way they were constructed. Mm. Now, I think they've addressed a lot of that. Now, it's a question of, do these pieces fit? And how do they fit? I think Nagelsmann will have to make them fit. It's as simple as that. For me, the pressure is all on him now. First season is always, okay, you won the league. There were some highs and lows. Yeah. You lost some games. Defensively, you look shaky. You try this crazy back three with all those forwards, you know, even playing at wing backs. Blah, blah, blah. That was great. It was fun to watch. At times, if you were Bayern or certainly the Bayern Iraq, you're thinking like, well, what is he doing? Now, n now this is serious. It's his second season. And he will have to get it right, especially after all the money they've invested. I mean, all the money. Masrawi is on a free. Gravenberch is a bargain. Okay, Delirt is expensive to a certain point. And then Mane, I don't think, was too much anyway. But, but still, with, with, uh, he got the players he wanted in the position that he wanted. Now the pressure is on him. And so he I has think, to deliver. I think Bayern are going to win the league. Um, yeah. But there is pressure on Nagelsmann. But I also think this is a season where if they're not as impressive... I can, this, this is a season where you can kind of get away with, and sorry, I disagree with you a little bit on the pressure, you can get away as long as you need to show growth this year. Um, and if you take a step back in terms of results, I think you still kind of need to win the league. But it's not like if he finishes second, they go on a run in Europe, and most of all, they play good football, and they play football the way he wants it, he wants it to do. And his ideas work. He's coming back next year. There's no question in my mind. He signed such a long-term contract. They've invested yeah, so yeah, much no, money no, in, no, of in, course, in, in him. Of course, of course, of course. You can't. But. You're not in a position now where you can judge Nagelsmann just by results. Oh yeah, win the Bundesliga at a minimum. I mean, some people no, will no, think. No, that no, but I didn't mean just result. I mean, you know, they will have to play well and better than last season. But finishing second is a failure, and he might stay. It is a failure, but, but he's going to stay. Huge failure, like losing to Villarreal in the Champions League. This is not good. And if if that happens again, if they knock out in the last 16 of the Champions League this season. You'll be like, hang on a minute, how, how is that even possible? And, and, you know, it was, I think a lot of the Champions League elimination was on him. I think a lot of the things that we saw in the Bundesliga that were not very good was on him as well. The things that he tried, the fact that he couldn't really transmit the message of what he wanted to the players for, for some of it. That can't happen again. All right, let's talk Borussia Dortmund. I think... I can on a limb and say, I think they're going to be better this year than they were last year, despite yeah. losing Erling Haaland and despite, obviously, the very sad news yes. of his replacement, Sebastian Aller. Simply because I assume people are going to stay fit. I assume Edin Terzic is going to, is going to move the needle. I, and obviously, defensively, they've added bodies. I love Niklas Sule, but is he Beckenbauer? No, I think definitely not. Terzic still needs to find a tactical balance. But I think simply having those guys fit I think we'll make, a, we'll make a difference. You're on board with that, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm on board with that. We like, we so like the question then is, if you're on board with that, is Leipzig or Dortmund to finish second? So I'll go for Leipzig to finish second. Ah, yeah, Tedesco. Think, yeah, Tedesco keeping in Kunku uh, was huge, of course, plus the signing that they've, that they've made too. I think he's interesting. If Iqvajol stays, um, I think they will, be, they, they will be better than Dortmund. I still think that Dortmund have issues. And if Bellingham is not uh, at his best, and if defensively they're still as shocking as last season, plus if Adeyemi or whoever plays Malen or whoever else they sign to replace Ale or, you know, while Ale is recovering, if they don't hit the ground running straight away and the goals are not coming as, 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 they, as they would like to, then they can be in a difficult position. Do we see a gap between them and... Leverkusen, for example, or, or Eintracht, maybe. Is there another surprise package that, or is it pretty much assured that they're second and third, whatever order yeah, you put them in? Yeah, I don't see, uh, apart from Bayer Leverkusen, maybe Rico. keeping the improvement under our friend, Rico, Rico Suave. Suave. Um, but I still think that, that, that top three should remain top three like that. 
Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.